trust you cannot feature in the future you've not pictured like and not all those who feature that future feature in the future they've already pictured all right so good. president yeah. ashua Yubola ahmed gcfr the government of Boku kingdom our own dearest and most revered leader in fact a war that it would take years before we could have someone like that. You say the yes. first indigenous Lagosia to be president in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The project to Numbu Student Square is to show, on behalf of our uh, vice president, Professor Epidemio Lasso GP in our vision is making Lasso the best in West Africa. And we uh, want to show to the world that we, we are the first children of Ashwaju. When we are talking about youth, because Lagos State University student, we can never forget his impactful leadership. And that is why we've come together to actually have a symbolic project, water funding, like they do have in White House, in USA. We want to have such in Lagos State University to be a welcoming note to everybody. That project, we have a statue, President Tunubu's post. We have our model. Mama Bibatu Mogaji, a dearest model on that project. This project is a seven diameter water fountain with over 30 nozzles. Mm -hmm. So this project actually symbolizes who Ashwa Bola Ahmed Nubu is to us, the youth. Now this this, this is amazing. Okay. Let's let's really ask you, this must have cost you a lot of money. Uh, um, now we understand why you conceptualized it for the future. Uh, now how did you raise the money? How did you even raise the money? Raising the money is quite difficult. Of course, but sure since is. we are actually honoring it, if we don't go through the pain of actually, in fact, for the project, I've created for the past uh, two years, and I'm here to serve because of the project, okay. for the fund and the line. So if we don't go through the pain, because as a youth, we want to show that it's not everything is not about money, because it has really served, and it will take a lot of patience to actually get the project through to him. So if it's about money, we would have commissioned the project among ourselves, would have podcast and would have actually but it will take time and we have to wait what is honoring him if he is not aware so the project actually takes a lot of difficulties financing it because financial need, financing it as a student it's quite difficult so we have to went through a lot of pain a lot of um, you know savings we have to put it together okay, okay so now um, i understand there are some um, icons of that some what um, squared waterfalls can you just Tell us the significance. Okay, man. First, uh, let me start with our most bad model, Mama Bibatu Mugaji. You know, President Bola Ahmed Shinobu was the first to start free payment of Waek and Nepo in Nigeria. Absolutely. So, and that is when, when the president stated that he's going to, you know, do student uh, loan to enable to be educated. To be educated. Mm -hmm. So, one, we now want to tell them who I should do, you know, who he was and who he is. Okay. So he started free in Waek and Neko in Nigeria in the year 2002 mm. when he visited Michael Mugaji in his uh, in a home. And he saw a lot of people around the house. Like, Why are they here? And she said these are people that were unable to pay for the Waek and Neko fee of their children. And I showed him how to Michael Mugaji that how many of them will have the opportunity to be here. So because of this, I'm going to make Neko and Waek free in Lagos State and many governors then emulate such you know doings. So that is to show a uh, significant effort. We also have his post. You see, he's not just ordinary post and this work is not merely a work of art. So if you if you should look at the post you, you, you see that there are a lot of concentration, a lot of scholarly work that okay. Okay. Yeah. okay now now uh, let let me because we don't quite have all the time on air to talk about this. But the significance of this is that you calling on other young people to uh, begin to think of how to immortalize our heroes, yes. those who have contributed immensely yeah, towards not, uh, not just uh, physical development but character development. Because what you've done, it's not just about physicality of the thing. It, it, the symbol is that you are saying, if you do well, you will be immortalized. Yeah. You understand? That's what it So what advice would you give to young people Especially, everybody wants to go to other countries that are well-made. 
you understand that then people are suffering. Look at how you raised money to do this. So what advice would you give to young people so that things like this, uh, you know, we can begin to see them, enjoy them. And then those heroes have done well. We then know that once you sow well, you also will reap well. So can we get that done in, in a very minute? Okay. Um, actually, I want to tell the young people, because as for me, I've gotten a lot of, uh, you know, during this project, I've gotten a lot of positive, you know, from uh, well-meaning uh, uh, people that, if I can leave this service for humanity, they are ready to sponsor me to, you know, I've got to finish my education. And I told them that, no, I wouldn't. Be. In fact, no matter the amount you're going to give me, we are going to be here. You see, President Bola Ahmed, you know, is a chance and a great privilege for all the youth to actually rally around him. And in fact, that song they usually sang for him that on your mandate we shall stand. On your mandate we shall stand. Bola on your mandate. Bola on your mandate. Bola on your mandate we shall stand. So if you should look at that symbol of Ashwa Yuska, the meaning is breaking the shackle of poverty. Absolutely. So he has been sending the message for a very long time for the citizens. So I want to tell the youth now that this is the time. And that President Bola he said during the campaign that Nigeria wants to compete with Russia. We want to compete with you. Right. And I must say that we have to say that it's 